Hello and welcome. I'm Jeremy Searle and uh, today talking to you from the top of Mount Algonquin in the Adirondacks this beautiful three days before Christmas 2006 and having driven down through New York State I've been contemplating the question of why it is our Quebec motorists are so unable to use the right hand lanes on our highways being basically afraid, unable, untrained in the arts of merging on and off of highways because because once you get down here in the States of course you don't have that problem and a two-lane highway is a two-lane highway and a three-lane highway is a three-lane highway all of the lanes are used whereas you take your typical Quebec highway whether it be the Dakari Expressway or the Metropolitan people try to stay out of the right lane because they're afraid of what to do when traffic is merging for that matter they have difficulty when they want to merge on themselves so that was the thought that proposed itself to me driving down here and now we're going to skip back to Montreal and take a look at the Quebec driver's handbook the latest 2006 edition in which I think we'll find one or two clues let's go back to Montreal Hello, we're back in Montreal and about to take a look at the 2006 most recent edition of the Quebec Drivers Handbook, which is used by learner drivers to understand what the rules of the road are, what the rights and responsibilities of motorists are. So this is our 2006 handbook and we turn to page 207 where we're given the rules about merging, about cars entering highways and how the vehicles already on the highways must react. And the rule is quite simple. The driver of vehicle one, in this example, the one merging, the one wanting to enter the highway, when merging with the flow of traffic, must yield the right of way to vehicle two. That's the one already on the highway. Straightforward enough. The vehicle already on the highway has absolute priority. The one wanting to enter must yield. Straightforward, we would think, but in the very next phrase, the driver of vehicle two, the one on the highway, must consider that a vehicle is trying to merge with traffic on the freeway and should change lanes if possible. So now, while that may be a reasonable idea to change lanes to enable somebody to enter, the phrasing has confused the reader. What was in the previous paragraph, clear and absolute, the absolute priority of the vehicle already on the highway has now been watered down to suggest that it's semi-absolute, semi-priority that the driver already on the highway should perhaps change lane. In fact, in general safe driving circles, it's understood that the driver already on the highway is not going to change lane except in exceptional circumstances, but will adjust speed, either to speed up so as to make room for the vehicle wishing to merge or slow down a little. It's no wonder there's confusion, and of course, this isn't helped by the fact that many of our highway entries are badly designed, but it's really time for there to be a close look made at cleaning up the highway code and making it a little clearer in um, instructing our new motorists. Something to consider. Thank you for joining us today, and good day.